Okay, this video is going to be about this cell here, which is a Pearls bottle. I've got galvanized steel and a piece of graphite, uh, one of the pencil leads. And the reason for making this video is because if I take it off charge from the battery, you can see we're at 2.7 volts and it's coming down quickly, but it ends up at around about 1.8 volts, somewhere like that, between 1.8 and 2 volts. So this is a video to explain what I've done. I've got the little alum cell on charge now and I've got it charging from that 12 volt battery there. Uh, at the moment the 12 volt battery is at 11.83, it does need a charge but uh, as you can see there are bubbles forming and it's been on charge now just for a couple of minutes but uh, as I say there's copper and galvanized steel as the electrodes and then just a bit of alum added to rainwater and we'll see where uh, if I disconnect now the black we'll see where the cell is now at which is at 1.1 and it'll go down to about 1. Point, well presumably it will quit going down in a couple of seconds <laughs> but uh, we'll see where it ends up at this has only been charging for a couple of minutes now but already as you can see we're over we're over the vault there we are slowing down now so it looks like this cell as it were wants to sit at around one volt which is not bad for rainwater We'll flick it around to the milliamps and see what. Oh, there we are. And it's decreasing down now because the uh, meter's a bit of a load. But uh, 13 milliamps in a volt out of water. So this alum stuff on a small scale seems to be doing something. I'll put it back on charge and come back in a bit. We're only a couple of minutes along but um, I really don't want to bring that battery down any lower than that so uh, I'll disconnect now I'll see where the cell is okay I'm falling back down couple of bubbles there now what I'll do is I'll come back in half an hour now I'll see where it's ended up at, but there's only been, what, five minutes charge. And I will charge from something like uh, an AA, considering where this cell wants to sit at. Okay. Right, so half an hour later, and the cell is at just over a volt. So now I'll have a look at the milliamps. And there we are, we're still at 12. And that's going to decrease now because of the meter. Oh, but it slowed down pretty nicely. So, yes, we're looking at uh, 12, <laughs> a 12 milliamp output at 1 volt from, uh, from the alum cell after a 5 minute charge. Very happy indeed with that. We get the load of the multimeter, we get about 12 milliamps. It all depends on where I move, move it around. I move it forwards and backwards, and the milliamps slightly change. It's all very strange stuff, isn't it? Okay, thanks for watching. And here it is, running a jewel thief, and running it quite nicely indeed. Just a little jewel thief there that I made. And there's a pretty nice light output there. And this cell is uh, is holding up too. It's staying charged. It's doing pretty well indeed. There we are. 2.3 and dropping. But I changed over to a tiny piece of pencil lead. The refillable type. And uh, there's the little case it came from. 
I got it from Dollar Tree. There's about 20 of them in there. And we're coming down now to 2.2. Certainly a heck of a lot better than 1 volt though. Uh, now I'll see where this one actually settles out at. But uh, yeah, over 2 volts there on the 1 cell. Here we are quite a lot later. And um, we're at 1.819. It's going down very slowly now, so it's pretty much settled. Uh, that's a heck of a voltage, I think, for uh, for this little one cell here. There we are. One point, well, very happy indeed.